Hi, this is Tim Von Rieden with CGCookie.com, and today in the States we are celebrating Valentine's Day, and in spirit of the holiday, I'm going to go through a quick and easy way to create a rose in GIMP. I'm going to lay down a single petal and use that to create the entire flower. Okay, let's get started. In GIMP, I'm going to go ahead and create a new document. Let's make it a 400 by 400. Send my resolution to 300. Okay, so on a new layer, I'm going to go ahead and create the petal, which will then be used to copy and paste and make the entire flower out of. So with my brush tool, I'm going to make sure on my brush dynamics that only size is turned on. So we don't want opacity turned on because we don't want any um, gradient going on. So instead, I'm going to go ahead and choose my color, which will be very bright, saturated red. I'm going to go ahead and lay down my rose petal. So I'm not going for anything too detailed or specific. Just something that um, doesn't stand out because I need to copy and paste this a bunch of times so it needs to look pretty plain and generic. Okay, so now I'm going to add um, a gradient that kind of comes from the bottom and that will create a shadow effect when I'm laying the petals on top of each other. So to do that I'm going to create another new layer, choose OK, and on this layer I'm going to go ahead and color select that red which I need to choose this color selection button over here, choose my red, and if I go to my new layer and go to um, layer, mask, add layer mask, and we want it from the selection of that red that we selected and choose add. So now you can see we have a mask of the selection in here. So to kind of show what I'm talking about, if I choose my brush tool again, and if I draw in here, see how I only draw in the petal, which is what we want. So now, while using my um, fuzzy brush, I'm going to turn my scale up. And I'm going to choose that red color, but I'm going to make it much darker. So now I can hit turn opacity back on so we can get a nice fade from that saturated red and this very dark red. And I'm also going to make um, it a very light pink just to kind of round out the edge of the petal. Okay. So now I'm going to merge this layer down into this layer so that we only have one single layer to work with, with um, a single petal. So to do that, I'm going to go to Layer, Merge Down, but make sure you have the top layer selected so that it merges down into the layer under it, like that. And from here, I'm going to deselect it since I still have the marching ants around it. And now we have a petal that we can work with in pretty much copy and paste over and over to create our flower. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move it over just a little bit. And then these are the three tools I'm going to get be using. So move, which on the keyboard is M, rotate, which is shift R, and scale, which is shift T, I believe. Yes. So now if I do that, I can scale it down to about there and to scale. So now if I click M, I'm going to move it up. Okay, so now this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to be right-clicking over here on the pedal, duplicating it, and then doing that whole process. Moving, rotating, and putting it in place.
So then right now I'm going to be creating the very outside edge of the flower. So this is definitely the tedious part of doing all this. But it'll be worth it in the end. And if you want, you can like merge these five flower petals together. And then instead of moving one at a time, you could be moving five at a time. But the problem with that is I want to um, kind of place them so it's not the same throughout the entire different layers of the uh, flower. So like right now we're doing the outer layer, but then I'm going to be doing an inner layer and I don't want it to just look like we have a pentagon and we're just slightly rotating it down to the center. So now from here, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to duplicate it, but before I even do anything, I'm going to make it smaller. So with the Shift T, I'm going to go ahead and make that petal smaller. Oop. There we go. I'm going to do the same for um, the rest of the, I guess this would be the second layer in. So you can see as I'm starting to place these petals, how that underneath color that we added, that darker red, it's giving kind of an undershadow that um, is almost creating a sense of realism and depth to this flower. So instead of having, um, you have to watch me do the next two inner rings of the petals, I'm going to go ahead and cut to when I'm getting toward the very center and save us both a little bit of time. Okay, so now that we're back, you can see how I did more of the inner workings of the flower. And I'm just going to show you really quick how to kind of flatten them out near the center so you get more of a feeling that they're more encased in the center of the flower. So just like before, I'm going to duplicate the layer. And I'm going to go ahead and scale it in. okay and then move it up and from there I can just pretty much rotate and move my layers just slightly make sure I have the right petal selected there we go And I'm going to do one more. Okay, there we go. So once I feel like I'm at a place where the flower could be um, compressed all into one layer, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn my background layer off. So I'm going to go to Image, Merge Visible Layers, and just choose Merge. There we go. So you can see how the flower is now on one single layer. So now I can go ahead then from there, and then whenever I duplicate it, I have a whole bunch of roses that I can make then. I'm just going to fill up the screen really quick. So you 
can never have enough roses. On Valentine's Day, that is. And this is a easy um, thing you can do with a bunch of different flowers. It doesn't just have to be a rose. Anything that you're looking at it from kind of an up angle or straight down and the flower has a very symmetrical um, petal pattern to it. I mean, that's really all you have to do. Then if you want to make it seem like um, the petals don't look exactly the same for all of them, all you would have to do is create like two or three different looking petals and then use those two or three throughout the entire flower to get that effect. Okay, there we go. This is as filled as I want to get it. So there we go. Um, that was how to create a rose in GIMP using a single petal to create the entire flower. I hope you learned something and thanks for watching.